Every May Mumford here coming to you live on the YouTube. And I'm all excited again today because I got another letter in the mail. I like the letter like this better than the email, I tell you that. Because I don't have to. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, here you go. Dear Eddie Mae Mumford, that's me. Uh, this is from Paul. Hi, Paul. How you doing, baby? Dear Eddie Mae Mumford, why does the Bible say it's easier for a camel to pass through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to make it into heaven. What does that mean? Well, Paul, you're a smart man, and I can't tell you everything because some of it is God's business, but I tell you what I think. The Bible talks about riches and poor people and everything in between, and I think when the good Lord tells us about that camel, big old fat camel trying to get through that, it don't look possible at all. So if you think about a rich man, ain't nothing wrong with being rich, but if that's all you're about and all you think about, I can see how it might be hard to get into heaven because you cried out Jesus. That's my understanding. And you know, the Bible also says that the good Lord has cattle on a thousand hills and they're all yours to claim. So I think he's telling you he's going to provide for you. He tells you that he never seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging for bread. So if you write with the Lord, you ain't got to worry too much about where your next something, something's coming from because he got you covered. Some way, somehow, he's going to come through for you. And it also says that the poor shall see heaven. So if you're poor, you ain't got nothing to worry about neither. So I'm just going to tell you that either way, as long as you're close to the Lord and he's number one, number one, you're going to be all right. What you bet? Does that make sense to you? Don't have to go get no camel and no sewing machine and try to figure that out. Just use your common sense and pray and meditate on what the good Lord said in his word, and you're going to be all right. That's all I got to say for now, Paul. Thank you for sending me a letter in the mail. God bless you. Keep on keeping on. Hold on to your nickel so you got two rubbed together. Sometimes that's all you need. Don't ever look back, and the rest will be history. Okay, turn off. Is he going off? Bye.